Hey guys, welcome to my speed build. This is my very first baby challenge. This here is Zara and her firstborn. His name is Aster. And this is her house. I moved her in because that's the fun she had available. And I just, you know, remodeled it a little bit to make it more livable for her. Um, I think I'm going to rebuild this house. I'm going to knock it all down, take the the items that she already accumulated and I'm going to use the funds to build or something better. Uh, the way it's laid out is just awkward and weird so I think I'm going to make it a little more appropriate for her. So this is what her house is worth and she has a little over 10,000 simoleons to, to add to that so I am going to start by putting a little aster out in the front yard what by her and I'm going to move all her plants over. I'm going to get it all out of the way and then I'm going to demolish what is left. I'm going to establish a little garden for her where there's a special space for her plants. That way she can continue to use her gardening skills with the plants to make money and stay at home more often instead of having to go out and fish. Out of all the inventory it's in the household from me demolishing it. I'm going to give her all new green grass, get rid of all the dirt spots. That way she can have a new place to put her garden. Zara is just starting out with her first baby, so I wanted to give her a new home that makes more sense for her. She's painting, fishing, and gardening. I wanted to make sure she has better yards so she can grow her plants. The original house was laid out on the property in a way that gave her very little yard. Where will the kids play once she established her garden? She's just starting out, so she will have to make do with what she has until she can save some money. Once that happens, she can build a better house on a bigger lot. So she has the two little rooftop rooms she can use to put her easel in. And once one of the kids grows up and is old enough to climb the stairs, they can probably have a room in the upstairs as well. I also want to keep it mainly one level. That way the kids are not climbing up and down stairs. It doesn't take her a long period of time to get to the children. And she doesn't have to run all over the house in order to take care of the kids. This way she's not overwhelmed. She's not having any problems getting to anybody. And it's just easier on her. I'm really excited for the new year and the possibilities that it will bring for everyone. I'm starting the spring semester soon. I'll be in the fundamentals or computer program as one of my classes this time, which means I'll be learning Python. There's a lot of ex opportunities when you're learning computer programming, uh, especially with modding, uh, making your own computer programs, manipulating other programs. So it'd be a very interesting semester for me this year. And hey, you never know. I could be a modder in my spare time for fun and have a lot of ideas for Sims. What things would you like to see The Sims do that they have not provided in the game? Leave me a comment. I'm curious to know what you think that there should be for The Sims. Make sure you follow me too. I may be a new creator on Sims 4, but I have the most fun. That's the whole reason why I'm doing this. The fun. With work and school and everything else that's going on, this is a great way for me to relieve my stress. And it's fun. And I'm just making videos. And you, know, you never know. There might be people out there that don't know anything about Sims or are just starting to play. Especially when Sims 5 comes out. That they might want to look back on things and see another new creator come out with things that... You know, other creators may or may not have done uh, their own, my own personal twist and style on everything and what I want to do as far as uh, make content and show you what I have. So make sure you follow me because I may be starting out, but I'm just having fun and you could have fun with me. So why not, you know, give me the chance. With the methods of Zara earning money, I wanted to give her a house that's new, yet it has a cottage feel to it. I wanted there to be three different points of entry. If she's in the garden, I want her to get to the kids quickly when they need her. So I put one in the back. And if she's on the porch grilling food, she can have access to the house near the center of the home, which is the side porch there. And then, you know, visitors and anyone else that comes to the house, they all can come in through the front. I put two different stairways because I wanted to keep the length of the home 
so that I'm maximizing the space that they have. I have a back porch for her to get into her room. And I also put a door in between the two rooms so that she can get to the kids through her bedroom. Um, that way there's easy access, good way of getting to the kids and giving them the, the things that they need. I didn't want to put a fence on the property this time because if I put a fence on the property, it makes it more constricted. And I don't know, I've seen toddlers go in the street before, but I've never actually seen them leave the property. If you know that whether or not they leave the property, please let me know in the comments below. And that would be really big pain if they ran down the street, ran through the neighborhoods and you had to go and chase them down. So if you could just let me know, I've never had this experience, but someone else here that's watching, they might have had that experience. And if you can just leave me a comment whether or not this happened to you, please let me know. With the talk of Sims 5, I'm really interested in what new things they will bring to the game. I can't wait to find out what it would be like. I actually wonder if they really will go through with it because they've been investing a lot of time and energy into the new packs for The Sims 4. I'm so happy for uh, little Simsy, James Turner, and Deligracy. You know, The Sims creators made a smart move on that part, inviting such influential people in The Sims community to join them in creating houses for The Snowy Adventure Pack. Not to mention all the new skin tones and the fact that they had Star Wars. Personally, I'm not a big fan of it. I used to watch Star Wars when I was younger with my dad, but I'm, it's not it's a hit or miss of whether or not I get it. But I did get the pack anyway because, hey, you never can know what you like unless you're willing to try new things. So I got it. And it doesn't bother me any that I, I had bought the pack. I, I generally play with it here and there, but it's not one of my personal favorites. But hey, I tried it to see whether or not I liked it. So I put the living room in the front. Uh, I put the door with the two stairways. I put it right there. And I'm trying to um, keep everything like with a flow so that she comes in the house she can start cooking or go in the back room and see if the kids are okay uh check on the baby uh, i made her room a little bit bigger and i had it joining off with the kids room so i put a little closet in her bedroom right there so that i didn't have to put a dresser in there i can keep the space open um and i also put three bassinets in there because I don't know if I need to have three bassinets in case she's having triplets or twins because I'm not looking to see what the gender or how many children she's having to keep it kind of a surprise. Here's the living room. I also put a fireplace on the side so that uh, she can save on bills and burn more you know, fuel and have to pay less in fees. Uh, when she has more money, I'm going to put solar panels on the top of the house, try to keep the bills low so that she can accumulate more money. There's a list online of over 300 different names for flowers. So I'm naming all the children after flowers. Uh, if you have a specific flower that you would like me to see name one of the children, uh, please let me know. Right now I'm going in alphabetical order. The firstborn is a A, so I named him Aster because it sounds like a really cool boy's name. So that's why I picked it. But hey, I mean, I can go any, any which way because I'm here for my viewers. So I'm putting the living room together and then I only have one bathroom. I figured being that the kids are young and it's a small family that one bathroom should be okay. So I'm figuring out where to place everything for the children. I know I have to have a bathtub in order to give them baths. And I also know that you can, you know, refresh them and give them a washing in the sink. So I can also do that, but I'd rather have a bathtub for them because then they can have lots of time to play in the bathtub and splash mommy and, you know, all the fun things that kids can do in the bathtub. This is Zara's room. And everything that I can do, I can build on top of. I'm basically making sure that she has all the essentials for right now and giving her a little bit extra, you know, trying to manipulate the money to see what's the cheapest way to go. I have a little door in between their rooms so that she can get to them right away. Um, and I put the, the bassinets next to the bed so that when she wakes up in the middle of the night, she can get to the children right away. I have a lot of fun building houses so i am on the sims gallery under the name miss b1 
And if you were you wanted to look and see what type of things I'm building, feel free to look and see. A lot of the families that I create and a lot of the houses that I build, I post on my account and I upload them to the Sims Gallery as well. I really like the mailboxes that sit on the side of the house as opposed to the ones that sit out towards the sidewalk. I think uh, most houses that I've ever had had them on the walls and that way she can go right outside the door and grab the mail instead of having to walk down by the sidewalk. It really doesn't matter because it's the Sims. Here I'm putting the garden in. I'm putting it along the, the property line and away from the house so that she can come out and she can garden and, you know, harvest her flowers real quick and sell them off. I put a dirt bed in with some starter soil, you know, to give the plants extra nutrients so that they'll grow stronger and faster. Once she has a little more money and the, the family gets bigger, she can move on to another lot and build another house there or rehab the one that she currently has when she buys the lot. So I'm adding the fire prevention uh, stuff for her to make sure that no fires will start in the home. So I'm changing the foundation and I'm putting in a new deck and I'm putting in the rails for the stairs and the deck and I'm just getting everything tightened up as far as the last finished pieces of the build. I put the rails on the stairs, then I went into the front, I put in uh, sidewalks. I didn't know what to do as far as this goes because I really wish that they had like a curved path that you can make with the stones instead of like an angled one angle way of doing it. I think it would look a lot more polished. I realized that the rail went right into the window so I changed the windows around, went back to the front, put on lights. I really like these lights, they're one of my favorites. It's kind of that like burn style look, the old cottage feel to them. It's like a lantern. So I'm getting towards the end of our funds and I made sure that she had everything in the home and there she goes. So I hope you guys like my speed build. I hope you guys like my new baby challenge. I know Zara is pretty happy and I'm sure that Aster is too. So if you like my speed build, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see what future content I have, please make sure that you subscribe. I'll be looking forward to seeing you in my next video.